The gentleman from Connecticut, Mr. Larson, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to address the body and uh, seek to revise and extend my remarks. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, Ronald Reagan was uh, prescient in his description of Congress, especially as Congress addresses issues, most specifically the debt ceiling. Here's what Ronald Reagan had to say about Congress. It says, Congress consistently brings government to the edge of default before facing its responsibility. This brinkmanship threatens the holders of government bonds and those who rely on Social Security and veterans' benefits. Now, let me repeat that. Those who rely on Social Security, you could add Medicare, and veterans' benefits. That's what's at stake here. Reagan went on to say interest rates would skyrocket, instability would occur in the financial markets, and the federal deficit would soar. Why then would our colleagues on the other side of the aisle hold the American economy hostage? Well, in their own words, so they can cut Social Security and Medicare. They call these programs entitlements. Let us be clear, and for all of those listening to this, make sure you call your member of Congress and let them know that Social Security is not an entitlement. It is an earned benefit, something that people pay for weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. And how do they know? How do we trust and verify this? All you have to do is go to your pay stub. It says FICA. That stands for Federal Insurance Contribution. That's Federal Insurance Contribution. Who's? Yours. The more than 66 million Americans who contribute to this program. It's an earned benefit. It is not an entitlement. They clearly are entitled to their Social Security. But here we have the roost of the year. We're going to hold the American economy hostage so that we can make cuts to a program that Congress hasn't enhanced in more than 52 years. On our watch, ours being every member of Congress, we cannot let this persist. Fortunately, because of hard work in the past, seniors are receiving a COLA this year because of COVID. But it's not been reformed, it's not permanent, and there hasn't been a benefit enhancement in 52 years. In 1971, a loaf of bread cost 72 cents. I don't have to go through the litany of what call costs have risen. And with 10,000 baby boomers a day becoming eligible for Social Security, this is not the time to cut the program. This is a time to enhance the program so that all of our seniors, especially those who were hit hardest by the pandemic. How do we know this? Of the more than a million people who have passed away from the pandemic, over 750,000 are over the age of 65. And who's impacted most by inflation? Those people who are on fixed income. And by definition, those on Social Security are on a fixed income income and need our help the most during this time of inflation. It impacts every single district in this country. On average, there are 147,000 Social Security recipients in every congressional district. And to deny them 
the enhancements that they need during this inflationary time and during a time period when Congress has not enhanced the program in more than 52 years is long overdue. I yield back.